This is Vinny Chalerzo. And Taylor Lane from Russian River Brewing Company. And here's your craft beer and brewing tip of the week. Hands down, my favorite part of Russian River Brewing Company at our <laughs> facility here in Windsor, California, are our six open top fermenters. I don't know, do you agree? Absolutely. That's one of the <laughs> one of the coolest things that Natalie and I were able to put in. Open top fermenters is an old classic way of making beer, and it's nearly forgotten. In the old days, all beer was fermented in open top fermenters. There was no such thing as a closed top cylindroconical fermenter. So being able to go back and bring back an older traditional way of making beer and technically slightly more labor intensive way of making beer because there's extra cleaning, there's extra beer transfers and whatnot. But we really like it and we really love the flavor profiles that we get from our open top fermenters. So what makes an open top fermenter an open top fermenter? Well, okay, simply put, of course, there's no <laughs> lid on it. That's the obvious one. But tank geometry is a big, big part of OTFs, open top fermenters. And your typical open top fermenter, as ours are, they're a one-to-one -one ratio, meaning that they're as wide as they are tall. Whereas most tanks are more like a one-to-three ratio or even taller when you get to even larger breweries that it could be like a one to four ratio or maybe even more with a super, super tall tank. And so when you think about this, it's a totally different way to ferment beer because the CO2 exhausts much differently. You've got wider surface area, so you do have more air contact when you're working with open top fermenters, you're gonna get a much different ester profile and phenolic profile because of this oxygen contact that we get. One of the other things is you can really blow off a lot of those off flavors that you get in a, any fermentation, but because these vessels are wide, shallow, kind of squatty, the flavor compounds that are, be, be it good or bad, are being formed, but the, the bad ones are being blown off more easily because it's not having to travel so far through the beer. So if you have a tall skinny tank and you've got acetaldehyde compound mm -hmm. and it's got to travel through all that beer up through the top of the tank, some of that might get entrapped in the beer. With an open top fermenter, you're going to blow off a lot more of those compounds more readily and more easily. Now these open top fermenters are jacketed mm -hmm. just like our closed top fermenters so we can cool the tanks. But one of the neatest things with the open top fermenters that we have are yeast collectors. And so we have a chute on the side or an opening on the side of our open top fermenters that goes to a chute or a slide, if you will. And then that slide goes down into a yeast collector that's set into the ground. And so we can truly top crop our ale yeast, but it happens naturally. And the yeast, I jokingly say that the yeast is smiling at you in the microscope. <laughs> yeah. Maybe you can talk a little bit about the yeast health and open top fermenters before I go into some of the HVAC and the air and how these rooms stay clean. Yeah, absolutely. In terms of yeast stress, when you have this one-to-one -one ratio, you have a lower hydrostatic pressure. Hydrostatic pressure is the pressure of the liquid pushing on the yeast. So when you have a taller fermenter, the hydrostatic pressure is more. This one-to-one -one ratio decreases the hydrostatic pressure, decreases yeast stress, makes your yeast happier. Another aspect of it is because these this one-to-one -one ratio allows the fermentation in these volatile compounds to leave, and the CO2 to leave the vessel more freely, the yeast can ferment a little bit faster and a little bit healthier. As Vinny had mentioned before, we have all of this beautiful croissant on the top of these fermenters. This is my favorite part <laughs> of the open top fermenters. Each yeast strain that we use has a different look when you're looking at them from the top of the open tops. So our lager yeast is a little bit more fluffy, kind of like cotton candy. Our California ale yeast is a little more crumbly. It's very interesting to watch all the different fermentations. And even within different batches of the same yeast, they look different. They have different fingerprints in our open top fermenters. I think what's surprising to me is when we ferment with our Saison yeast, <laughs> there is almost no croisin, and you can see in the middle of the vessel 
a very thin, thin layer of foam, and sometimes almost no foam at all. It's the beer, and it's just bubbling up. Yeah. And you just see this eruption of CO2 that's escaping out of the top of the vessel. To learn more about oxygen in the brewing process, click, click the, the link, link below. below.